Welcome back. Tonight we're going to be doing a store haul. And uh, over the last couple of weeks I've been out to the store twice for special releases. So um, today we're going to share, talk about a little bit about what the, some of those things are. Tonight I am sipping on some Peerless Bourbon. It uh, comes in around $70, $75. It's 110 proof. It's a beautiful bottle. And uh, it tastes pretty good. Uh, it's not sure it's $75 good, but... It's uh, not a bad uh, bourbon if you're willing to spend the money on it. It's got a lot of rye. It tastes kind of young. So 75 seems a little high, but it's not bad. Anyway, so let's jump into the first pick or store haul that I picked up. Uh, first one I got isn't particularly special, but I did buy it and I want to talk about it because it's Wild Turkey 101. It's consistently good. I really love the Wild Turkey 101 and the Wild Turkey Rare Breeds. They're all consistent performers for me. Drink them on the regular basis. If you haven't had Wild Turkey lately, if you think back to your college days and Wild Turkey or whatever, you've got bad memories associated with it, give it another shot with a little bit, uh, little bit of a discerning taste. And uh, if you can get over the spice. And uh, anyway, I really like it. Give it a shot if you haven't had it lately. Pick this up. It's one liter. I picked it up for $34.99. And uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Then uh, today, no. So when I picked up the Wild Turkey 101, I was actually hunting a particular bottle. It's a limited allocation here in Virginia. And it's actually a 2020 special release. Jack Daniels single barrel special. Yeah, it's a Jack Daniels single barrel special release rye. This particular one's coming in at 128.9 proof. I paid $64.99 for it, and I am very, very excited about it. Uh, for, uh, I've got another video that I posted a while back. Um, it was a high proof uh, first pour versus the competition, and we took a bunch of high proofs. We took the Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof, the Larceny barrel proof, and uh, the 1792 barrel proof, or full proof. A couple of, uh, there were five total. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, it won. It's really, really good. Uh, it doesn't taste like anything like your your Jack Daniels number seven, the black the black label Jack Daniels that you may be used to. It, it tastes nothing like it. It's really good. I have a lot of high hopes for this one. I'm gonna be pretty excited to try this against some other rice and, and see how it does. Uh, we'll talk about this first. So this is actually not a bourbon. This is an Irish whiskey. It's called Drum Shanbo. It's a single pot distilled uh, Irish whiskey that's just been made available in the United States. I picked this up for $64.99. It comes in at 86 proof. Uh, the interesting thing and one of the things that caught my eyes about it is it's actually finished in Kentucky bourbon and Oloroso uh, casks. So it's going to be interesting to see what the, an Irish whiskey finished in bourbon cask tastes like. So um, we'll have to give that one a shot. Uh, from an Irish whiskey perspective, I don't have a lot of uh, experience there. Obviously, Jameson's and Redbreast 12, uh, both are pretty good. Uh, the Redbreast is really good. The, the Jameson's is, you know, it's Jameson's. It's pretty good. And uh, anyway, interested to uh, run this up against some of the, the other standard Irishes and see how it does. And uh, plus, I mean, it's got this really kind of pretty bottle, pretty packaging labeling. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited to pick that up today. But the reason I went out today <clears throat> and what got me all jazzed this morning when I got out of bed and I checked the inventory, I saw this, jumped in the shower, ran down to the store. I was at the store by nine o'clock this morning. Doesn't open until 12. Had to wait three hours. I was number three in line and they had six bottles. So I did get a bottle. Stag Jr. It's my first bottle of Stag Jr. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, this particular one comes in at 131.1 proof. I paid $64.99 for it. Uh, in Virginia, it's a limited allocation item, so I could only pick up one today at that store. I'm very excited to get my first stag to try it out, see how it does. Uh, 131 proof is is going to be a it's going to be a proofy it's going to be a proofy uh, proofy first pour, but uh, that's okay. I'm very excited about it. As I was leaving the store, I jumped in the Jeep started uh, driving out and checked the inventory of other stores around and I saw another bottle that I got super excited about. So let me show you. I ran to a second store today and this is what I got. Another bottle of Stag. So uh, as I was leaving the store, I checked and there was another store about 20 miles down the road uh, that had just posted six bottles. 
jumped on the interstate, ran up there. When I got there, there were still five left. Picked me up another bottle. So we're gonna actually try our first pour of stag. I just opened it up a few minutes ago. Let's see, uh, let's see how it does. Whoa. I'm pouring it all over the table. Stag Junior. I've heard so much about this. I've, I've never had a chance to get it before, so I'm very excited. Got a little vanilla, a lot of caramel, some spices, a little bit of proof, not a lot. Hmm, smells good. It's really dark. So Stag Junior, uh, they tend to release them uh, eight to 10 years in age. That's proofy. Wow. Whew. Yeah. That's 130 proof. They weren't kidding about that. It's tasty, but that's hot. Okay. It's really rich. It's got some really good caramel. A little hint of vanilla. It's got some clove, some a little bit of spice to it, and a lot of heat. That's a really good bourbon, but it's hot. Guy in line, when I was talking to him, he said his other stag bottles that he's had, after they uh, were open for a couple of days, the uh, the uh, the proofiness of it went down a little bit. So, uh, you know, hopefully in a couple of days I'll come back to it. But the flavor-wise, this is really good. Good bourbon. Good job. Well done. Buffalo Trace Stag Jr. Hopefully you've got some bottles you're excited for that you've picked up lately. Uh, if there's anything that I should pick up and try that I haven't talked about or that you just love and want to want to tell the world about, post a comment in the comments below. Um, I'm giving a bottle away for New Year's, uh, a bottle of, uh, of Booker's 202002, the Boston Batch. Uh, go to my read. Go to my video list and uh, post a comment in that video if you're interested in that free bottle. Uh, you have to be somewhere I can ship it. Check out the rules. Uh, if you uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing on the channel, please subscribe to my videos. Uh, appreciate any comments or feedback you have. And uh, until next time, find a bottle you love.